good afternoon everyone welcome back to get shippy with it and yes we are back again for a second time um sorry we've been a bit AWOL and haven't told anyone that we've not been posting any videos uh we've had a pretty hectic last few weeks we're still alive we're still alive <laughs> just as you know jason to begin with went with a really bad cold and a reaction to the COVID and flu jabs and then he went and put his back out which he's sort of recovered from and then unfortunately <coughs> our daughter had to be taken into hospital for an emergency operation so this is why that we have not been filming or not posting because we've been otherwise engaged but glad to say she's all on the mend and everything is fine but unfortunately jason is ill yet again with another cold i've not been ill or had a cold for so long <laughs> now i've had two in the space of a month so yeah. i'm not happy <laughs> yeah <coughs> excuse the coughing excuse the coughing i'm all right uh, it's everybody else. Is, yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think I must be allergic to my new job. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You're just allergic to work. So yeah, it's been uh, pretty hectic. So we've really got nothing done, have we? Not really. The... Since the last video. We haven't, we haven't touched anything, have we? No. Uh, but today, even though he's not feeding the full ticket, he's going to battle on through. Push through. Yeah, I think he, I've just given him a cream cake, so he should be able to push on through. Um, we're going to get back on with the second diesel heater because now mm. temperatures have really it's getting a little chilly, isn't it? dipped away. Um, so we're we're waking up to sort of three or four degrees in the morning at the moment. Yeah, I mean they'll sit now twenty past. Oh, 20 to 2 and it's 5 degrees so. yeah and there was a forecast of some snow coming next week so we either need to uh, get on and see what we need to order to finish this or to see if we can uh, do with what we've got mm. so there we go that's our job for today so all the floors are back up Jason's got his thinking head on I haven't, that's the trouble. Oh. My thinking head has gone missing. <laughs> uh, gotta wire it up. 32 wires. Two wires is causing me hassle today. Don't think I've got the mental capacity to find two wires. The next episode should be, will we ever get this diesel heater fitted? Yeah, I think I'll just go have a little fire pit in the middle of the... I did say a stove <laughs> would be easier. Oh my God, no, not, not easier. I think we'll just have a new set of problems to go with it, but no wiring. <laughs> hmm. Right, so Jason's down there now, busy soldering some wires. I'm gonna attempt with the camera to get over there. So there we go, he's soldering the wires together. Trying. Very trying. I only think everything would keep still enough. I know. I'm trying to film you and I'm balancing. If you can see here, we're all, me and Jason are both on one <laughs> piece of wood. You're so close to my face, I can't even focus on what I'm doing. So we're just trying to figure out now where we can put the diesel. <coughs> Being there's not a lot of room down there. I've got enough pipe to go to here, so I think I'll just run it to there. 
and then laying those for only an hour a day so I don't have to get the diesel out too often. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Mind you, she's, she's not as bad as us. We tend to have it on because we haven't got any real heating. Well, it's a smaller yeah, small gets... heater in a smaller room. Yeah. She's got a door closed, it'll just go on and off and on and off. So she'll hardly use any, I don't think. Famous last words. So I think I'm just gonna run the pipe down this way into the diesel there. I've wired it all in. I've connected the pump and the filter to the pipe. And now I've just got a the pump somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> As you can hear, that's our other diesel heater going because it's getting pretty chilly now. Uh, so all the wiring's done. Yes, Jason, what else? Wiring's done. Uh, the fuel line is in, just not into the fuel tank. Uh, I've just got to drill a hole in the lid so I can put the fuel fuel suction pipe in there. Is the control <coughs> panel connected up in her room? That's connected up. Um, I need to get two Jubilee clips for the exhaust so I can connect the exhaust and once that's done i can then fire it up make sure it's working <laughs> and then i can connect the heater pipe to a bedroom so does this mean that <coughs> once that one's up running we might get some heat in our room yes yay yeah, as soon as hers is up and running, it should be tomorrow. Stay gonna, tuned, everybody. I'm going to have to run and grab some Jubilee clips. And that's it, I think. That's all that I'm going to need to get hers running. What about to get ours running? Well, ours is already running. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's already running. We just haven't got... I've just got to move the pipes around. Where at the moment the heat. Uh, Let me come over. <coughs> we can have a look. At the moment, where we've got our heat up you. there. Let me see our heaters there. Yep. And the pipes go all that way around about three bends, and then come back through this pipe that runs down to her room. So all we're, all we're doing is heating this pipe up. Yeah. So her heater there will just go straight in, into mm -hmm. her room with a small pipe and that's hers done. We can cut this one out and then that heater will go straight, it'll have a, a, like a Y piece on it. So we can have one come up straight into here yeah. And then the other one will go round into the bathroom and back cabin. And what about the wheelhouse where we are now? I just said that. Did you? Yes. I said it'll come right up in oh, here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we'll have heat in our <coughs> aft cabin. Yeah. And we'll have heat in the wheelhouse. Yes. Yay. And that will also mean that I can put the shelf in the cupboard in the bathroom. Yay! And it's only taken a year. <laughs> finished, finished the cupboard. Uh, yeah. So we won't have to have all our bathroom bits out in the bathroom. They can all go no, in the cupboard. They can all go away. And. I mean, it's not going to be fully finished finished but it's going to be heat in individual rooms I can put that up 
on here somewhere so it's that's finished as well so why is it not going to be fully finished well we haven't fully finished our our cabin oh, yet no. so we can't put the heater pipe out to where we want it to go necessarily um, and the wardrobe's got to be redone so it will have a heater pipe in there but how good it'll be at the moment I don't know but we should have heat directly into here so it should get quite hot in here good because it's freezing so because at the moment all we've got is the hot bath. air that perforates up through the bathroom cabinet we leave the door <laughs> open to the bathroom so the air comes out <laughs> and drifts into the rest of the boat and it doesn't really drift into no, the rest of the boat. and in cabin, as you can see, <coughs> she mainly has her door shut and she's the only one who's got uh, piped in heat. Piped in heat. So she often moans that she's getting too hot and, and we're, we're uh, moaning yeah. because we're freezing cold. <coughs> but, yeah. but she won't let open her door and let us have any of her in. No, no. But yeah, I'll show you down in the bathroom. This is the only source of heat, which hasn't been too bad. But obviously when temperatures start to drop, let's put some lights on. I have to excuse, we've got the uh, dog bowl in here at the minute. But yeah, what we tend to do is we, like we have here, we open the bathroom cupboard and we can feel heat. So that kind of heats the whole of the boat apart from the middle cabin which isn't a great deal um not too bad when it's, it's, it's all 10 or 11 it degrees down, yeah it gets down to about eight seven eight and you start feeling the cold in there so yeah it drops down to two or three degrees then no i mean last year remember back when we had the bupane gas fire that my mum and dad lent us kindly to begin with worked a treat but we couldn't stand the smell oh it's the smell you turn it on within two seconds it's red hot you turn it off and then yeah. you turn it back on again and on and off and on and off so and then we had the trouble getting the gas bottle <coughs> so yeah. and it also created so i mean we get a lot of condensation anyway mainly because we've not got proper heating half the boat's insulated half of it isn't um, but it created so much more condensation and it was just the smell of the gas that we didn't like, wasn't it? It was just... Yeah, awful. So. Yeah, even though we tried to open the window a little bit to ventilate it. So that was the form of heat that we've had. And then we were spoiled with the diesel heater. Um, but obviously we've been through a lovely hot summer. <coughs> Yeah, I think it's, it's it costs a fortune in the diesel heater because it's flat out yeah. all the time. Yeah. It, once we've got the warm air coming straight in here, it'll warm this up and then it'll turn off. Mm. When the temperature drops down, it'll turn back on. But at the minute, we're just running it continuously because yeah, it's we get we're getting through about thirty liters a week. Where I mean, we tend, if Jason's at work, we have it on in the mornings because obviously it's cold, but then we won't have it on for the rest <coughs> of the day, which hasn't been too bad, but now it's staying colder during the day, it's not great, but we just tend to wrap up warm, as everyone's doing at the minute. We have oodies and dressing gowns and... And a t-shirt. And you're in a t-shirt. <laughs> <and you're> <laughs> um, the second I, start, I was freezing earlier, the second I start working, I'll just yeah. get too hot. So it's not been too bad, um, but we always said that we would get two diesel heaters in. Yeah, even though you've got two running, you should, I reckon, half our diesel bill. Hopefully. Well, because, I mean, hers is a two kilowatt, so it, and it's only heating her bedroom, so it'll, it won't be on hardly at all. Yeah. It'll warm it up, it'll just keep coming on and off. Yeah. Um, and this one will do the same. I mean, I reckon we're probably losing, probably losing 90% of our heat 
just warming the long lengths of pipe up and warming the engine room up with the lost heat. Um, we're probably only getting 10% of that. Oh, definitely. And obviously we still have some holes in the boat. <coughs> but surprisingly enough, when it does get warm in here, it gets warm. Um, I will say that. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a small room, so yeah. you can heat it up pretty quick. Yeah. But, uh, no, it would just make a big difference, obviously, to the cost of diesel and being warm. <laughs> and you like being warm, don't you? <laughs> don't like cold. Don't like it when your ears get cold. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as we said, that's about it for Saturday, because obviously we need to go and get some Jubilee clips. Um, tomorrow we shall finish it off. So come back and join us on Sunday. So it's Sunday afternoon and Jason is about to go out and hang off the side of the boat to fit the exhaust. Uh, yeah, my death defying feats yeah. <laughs> above the mud. Yeah, so let's just hope this goes well. That's a good start. You've dropped something. I'm saying screwdriver. And it's getting dark. So let's hope it doesn't fall over the edge. Luckily, the tide's out, so it's mud. <laughs> Lucky for me. <laughs> <coughs> right, so we're outside now. He's about to attempt attempt not to fall in <laughs> good luck Joe. <coughs> for god's sake do not fall in that mud try not to be sick at the same time this will either be a disaster <coughs> i'll try not to drop the camera said rock the Caspar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try and rock the Caspar again. It is bitterly cold out here today. Staying on tight, Jay. hope because it's so far to reach it through there I can't get the Jubilee clip on the inside put it on and push it through first and it's not the holes big enough for the exhaust to go on but I can't get the Jubilee clip on the exhaust through the hole. I might have another wiggle to see what it's like. <laughs> God. <laughs> I do choose the times it's now like what do you mean? Four o'clock? Yeah, it's four o'clock, but it's already getting dark. <laughs> oh my god. Just don't go in. <laughs> in between the coffin. I'm going to see if I can wiggle it from the inside, I think. Okay. Let's go in then. If not, it's staying like that until I can get the dinghy out. Yeah, will it not fall out then? No, it'd be held in from inside anyway. Uh, okay, well, we'll, we'll go off back inside then. Right, so we're back inside now. And he's going to try and wiggle it from the inside. Off top, blow the nose. <laughs> He's now got to get his arm all the way down to the hull, which is a very tight gap. I would film it for you, but there's not a chance that I can get anywhere near what he's doing. As we have half the floor up, and 
it's just too small a gap. But fingers crossed we can get a bit more heat into the boat. <laughs> it's not a good time when he puts his hand on his hip. Of huffing and puffing. You're giving a running commentary <laughs> to, to me struggling down here. <laughs> so close. <laughs> but yet so far. It's always the way though. What the whole exhaust pipe? I think I'm going to try to put the just the end of the exhaust on the outside and get a screw in it and try and get the exhaust pipe on this end and do it up there. I'm, if I go and get me a ratchet out of the car, I might be able to at full stretch upside down with me leg behind my head, possibly get to tighten it up. <laughs> you stay tuned for that then. There's something I'd want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're back outside for round two. <coughs> On a different approach now. See if this works. Fingers crossed. It's not very good when you've just eaten your dinner and you've got to hang over the side of a boat. It's pretty cloudy, but it's definitely cold this evening here. Just hoping that next week we don't get any snow because we really don't need that at the minute. <coughs> We've been lucky so far. <laughs> Wind. Right, here goes nothing. <laughs> This is either going to end one or two ways. Jason gets it in, or Jason comes back up muddy. Or I've got my drill. Don't do that. Well, at least the tyres out, you can get your grabber. Oh, that's right, he's pulling a bit of string from underneath my feet. light on now because it's getting too dark to see what you're doing. Is that time you are on the drill? That's for the drill, not me. Okay. 
apologise for the sound quality if it's not very good. So we've got our diesel heater going, next door's diesel heater going, the wind. <coughs> I think it's starting to rain as well. Can't even watch. Because <laughs> if he's going in, he's going in head first. I don't think you're going to get any more in today. That was the top block. I can't reach a bottom once. <laughs> right, so we've been up and we've got the... What did we get? Ratchet. Ratchet. So hopefully. Might have to talk up a little bit because of the sound of the diesel heater. I said... <laughs> 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 I got me a ratchet. <laughs> So I could do that up at full stretch, hopefully. Got a bit of fiddling first. Because I don't want to have to take it off again. So I might put, connect this. I don't know, I'll sort it out when I get there. He's just now. winging oh, it. I don't know. <laughs> right, so we managed to get the middle cabin diesel heater working. It has been working. I haven't tried it into the bedroom yet but the there was heat coming out the pipe and i've moved the pipe so it goes to the bedroom so if it doesn't work katie freezes that's no big deal so <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing now now i am moving the pipes so we can have some heat in here mm. in the bathroom but not our bedroom not tonight it's eight o'clock I need to have a shower and I need to finish watching the football. Oh. And I've got a headache. Oh. So there you go, that's Sunday. Finished off. Partially finished off. So we shall uh, carry on probably on the next episode and maybe move on to something new on the boat. Possibly. Never know. <laughs> Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Please remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. <laughs>